Hi everybody, here's what we're creating today. If you're interested in seeing how to do this, stay tuned and it's well worth, I don't know how long this video is going to be, I need to still edit it and throw it in to wherever it is I throw it in. And that's what we'll be creating today. And I show you step by step everything. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? Today we'll be making this wind chime inspired by Callie Black here on YouTube. And I put my feathers on the bottom and I beaded them up with my boho beads and then strung a bunch of beads that remind me of planets, stars, and some of my favorite beads came in here and these beads were in Happy Mail. All of these actually, except for the tiny small ones but the bigger ones like this one, this one, and that one, and that one. That one and that one came from Good Day for Shopping. And we're going to create this. Well, not exactly the same. And Good Day for Shopping is a lady that sent me Happy Mail and she made this for me. And she called it the Moon and Stars. So we'll be creating that. Let me put that aside. And We'll get started in a minute. Alrighty, everybody. I had to stop recording because things were happening. You know how I do live, uh, not live, uh, real time. Things happen. So I had to turn off the video camera f quite a few times, actually. I'm so excited to do this. I got different ways and we're going to do a lot. Not sure if we'll do a lot on this one video. Let's just get moving though because I don't want to start chit chatting and chit chatting. But I have a box to try to keep me in order because my mind and my thoughts are everywhere with this. Okay, so I have a box. And in the box, I've got the things that I need to do. Okay, so we have tape, anything round. And we have our CDs. And let's start with this CD. Ignore the circle. And I thought I was ready. I can never be prepared all the way or think that you're prepared when you're really not. Alrighty. I don't know where my marker is at at this point. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, so I'm using a washable Crayola marker. doesn't have to be. It could be anything. So we're creating the moon, right? And before we remove the um, outer layer of the CD, there's a video. It's called uh, How to Peel a CD. So this is the way I like to do it. You know that circle that's in, in the middle of the CD? I kind of go behind it as much as possible. And just do a circle. Okay. And then I cut. So I've got my penny shears and a subscriber sent me a link where you can get these for I think $1.99. I don't know how much shipping is. You, um, I found out through her I'm grateful that she sent me the information. It's so awesome how we share things together. Uh, that they're using the medical field. So, yeah. Okay, so cut out that circle you created. Now, be careful. Go slow. I've uh, cracked a bunch of them. And when I crack them, I, I, I'm like, darn! But then I turn them into feathers and I get all happy again. <laughs> so take it slow. Take it slow. 
Now this sounds like a double CD to me. It doesn't sound like, oh yeah, it's a DVR. Okay, so these DVRs crack very easily. What happened, Miko? Huh? Honey, open the door. Keep this if you like because uh, you can make shapes out of this. Okay. Um, oh, the shapes that you can make out of this. Uh, there's another lady here on YouTube. Her name is Callie Black. I'll link her down below. And she makes stars. I have done some. Let me close the door. So since it's a double CD, you know, take it apart, they do crack much easier. I like using the bottom part because uh, it's more workable, it's softer than your average CD. Yet that's because we took off, you know, the mother and here's the child. <laughs> anyway, so you got your CDs. I'm going to put that aside here. Let's say that it's one of the CDs other than that one. Because the DVRs, you can't remove the holograph. But on the other CDs, the CDR, you can. And what I've been removing with is, instead of the tape, I've been removing it because I'm making glitter. Look at all this awesomeness. Can you see all of that? I'm keeping all of the skin. And this is what I'm doing. This came in a shaving kit, you know, the Veet shaving kit. Mm, the, to remove hair, liquid stuff, I don't know. Didn't work, So, I, but I kept the applicator. It's plastic, but right here has like some kind of rubber coating. And what I do is I just rock it back and forth like this. Plus, for those that um, want to make glitter out of this stuff, you can. It's really, really pretty stuff. You can use it on your nails. You can use it in your art. You can use it in so many things. Uh, just rock it back and forth like that. You see, we got a big chunk. And for those that don't want to hear the the knife uh, uh, running across, you know, that yucky sound that it makes. Some people like it, some people don't. I, I, I don't care for it. And you just sit there and you remove it. Okay. So go ahead and remove all if you like. I do leave some on. I like some of it on. I'm going to put that aside. I'm not going to remove all of it. But I am going to collect our glitter. I'm obsessed with collecting the glitter. I'm actually sitting here when I have spare time and watching other YouTubers. I'll just sit there and remove uh, the skin from the CDs and do my collection of glitter. Okay, that's good enough. I've got gold, and I've got red, and I've got purple from different color CDs. Okay, so, okay, so, this one's got really scratched up, you see that? But it, it's still pretty, we can still use that. And I don't know why I have these in the box. Okay, so that's the cutting of the moon. Now let's paint the moon. Oh, you can prepare uh, your other piece to make stars. And I got that idea from Callie. I got the moon idea from Callie. And let's see, I don't know where my stars are. Here they are. So I've kept quite a few of these, and basically here's some of the, some of the stars. I'm not personally going to use the stars, 
but I'll use them in a different project. But just in case you guys want to use the star, uh, you just draw your star on and then cut it out. They're quite simple to cut out. Not difficult at all. Now my stars are not perfect stars. I'm okay with that. And there you go. Oh, and that one cracked. So be prepared for them to crack. So have a feel. So that one's trash. Too small to be a feather. Alright. And if you wanted to remove the skins, go ahead and use your duct tape. Any duct tape, any any kind of tape really works. Okay. So let's get to painting. I have a few. Let's oh look at this blue one. Isn't that pretty? That just came that way. The city was blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I even have a purple one over here. Well, a pink one, a green one, and they're awesome. I have a gold one. Okay, so let's get to painting. You can use uh, Deco Arts Media Shimmer Mister. These are permanent. And you can use your Adirondack inks. And you can have yourself 91% and higher. I don't know if it comes in higher, but at 91, anything higher than 91 or 91 is perfect. Alcohol. And what I like to do is coat the whole thing. You don't need a lot. And I like using my fingers. And then I grab my next color. Let's use some purple. And you can do this in so many ways. And I've got some ideas coming up, but that'll be in the next video. And just drop your stuff. Drop your stuff. And let it do its thing. You can blow on it. You can let it drip. You can get your alcohol and see what happens. It's all a surprise. Oh, if it wants to spray. Go and move it around. You can add as many colors as you like. I like that. I think I'm done with that one. And I'm going to put it aside and work on another one. If I could find another one. Where'd I have them? I got one there, one there. I swear I had more to work on. Hmm, they disappeared. Okay, let's see. Let's just cut one real quick. I thought I had more ready. I don't see them. They disappeared. This one I'm going to spray with alcohol first, and then I'm going to grab, you can spray this, or you can open it and drip it. I think I'm just, I'm good with that. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yes, I'm good with that. That one's done. I think it's super cool like that. Let it dry. Let 
let's let's let the other ones dry. I'm kind of wanting to squirt some orange into that. fun and play. Okay, I need those to dry. So let's work on another one. Here's the one I thought I had. Just meanwhile the other ones dry because I want to do something else to them. Let's do... Let's do it like that. Let's open this. And then let's mix it with the, I don't know what color this is. <laughs> I really don't have no clue. It looks like some kind of, okay, coffee color. What color will it make mixing with the purple? Uh, the I don't know color. squirt it and see what happens. Let's squirt one end. A dropper would be cool right now. I don't have any. Oh, that's cool. Love it. I like that. I like that a lot. Dry. Dry just like that. Looks awesome. Now you can use acrylics. You can use all alcohol. Let your, your creativity come through. Just have fun and play. Okay. Let's let these dry and then we'll come back and do the second part, okay? Alrighty, we're pretty much dry. Not completely. I hit them with um, my blow dryer. Because if you guys know, I can't use my heat gun because it throws off the whole wiring of the house. Okay, so now we're going to use stays on jet black or stays on blue. I wish I had white. I don't have white. You can probably, uh, if you're more experienced than I am, using a, uh, acrylic paint to stamp. That'll probably work. I'm not good at that though, so I'm not going to use that. And grab yourself some. That's pretty. Some of your favorite stamps, whatever it may be. Well, not a hundred percent sure if it's going to show up. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Get it nice and inked up. Probably should work on a smooth surface. I'm not, actually. Let me do it this way. Now you can uh, emboss. Use embossing ink and embossing powders. That would look awesome. Pretty sure once the sun hits these, it'll show up much better. I 
You can somewhat see it. Actually, I can see it. Let's see. Can you guys see that? It's there. I'm trying to get the camera to pick it up. There, right? Whoop. Whoop! Right when I move my hand. Somewhere around there you can see it. Let's see. Up there. You see that? So you can see it. Oh, right there. Okay, that's pretty. I love it. Let's put that aside. Let's use this one. Gorgeous. I'm going to ink up some more. Oh my goodness. Yes, I agree. Some embossing powder. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Can I just say <whistles> Now that's a pretty bone. Gorgeous. Let's do three. You know how much I like doing the number three. This one's going to be my favorite. That is wonderful. Beautiful. And then I have a butterfly right here that I want to put in. Just right here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, that is beautiful. Love it. Now let's do the purple one. This one I think would do just butterflies. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see what I'm up to. So happy with him. <laughs> I'm super excited. Something with a lot of pattern. Okay, I have nothing out. Let's just try this one. Hmm, no, not that one. I have this little foam here. It has little dots. That's cute. Alrighty, we'll do that. And then some butterflies. Oh, that's adorable. Except for this one, I need to restamp. Very pretty. Okay, stop. Very pretty. I'm kind of tempted to put one more butterfly in because I don't like even numbers. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, it got chopped off. 
Let's try to redo that one. Good luck. Oh, it's good enough. All right, beautiful. Okay, so now to hang them, I'm going to buy a suggestion, a suggestion from a subscriber told me to use my crop dial because it goes in just like butter. So let's try that. And the only reason I have a crop dial because Lori B, which I never found out who she was, sent it to me. And then one hole here because I'm going to do... Oh my god, it's so pretty. We're just going to work on this one. And we're going to add some jump rings. I need two. Hopefully those are big enough. This will be for the top. And whatever we decide to use to hang. Up here. Might not be big enough. Yeah, it's good. And then the bottom one. Right? And then pick your beads. I like that one. And I'm going to use wax. Uh, I don't know what this is. Irish wax. This, I, I'm not sure right now. I usually know. And I'm going to... Oh, and these are my boho beads. There's a video on that. Just go to DIY and all of the videos are there for the handmade stuff. Okay, I should probably connect that now. You don't have to, and you can work with this while it's hanging, but because I'm doing a video, I'm going to work on it while it's down here. I'm not going to add too many beads because um, we're recording, and it would take too, too long. I have some beads here. We're just going to start beating these up. At the bottom of this, I just made a decision that I am going to add the star. So I might as well ink up the star now. Some of the holes are not big enough. So my suggestion to you guys is you can use fishing string, elastic string, rope, whatever is quite thin. I'm pretty sure that they sell this uh, Irish wax in gauges, but I'm not positive. Yeah, not all the beads are going to go in. I think I need to ink up one of the stars.
and let's make it blue. Can you guys see that? No. I haven't done anything yet, really. just the way it is. And I'm going to set that aside and let it do its thing over there. See if these holes are big enough. No, they're not. Maybe some of them are. these look like they might be. I like mixing up my beads. I don't like to keep them separated. So I just unpackage them and I put them all mixed up. Whoa, I had it and then I pulled it out. Yeah, that's not going to go through. I don't think about what I'm putting in. I'm just putting in. this bracelet that I wouldn't wear, but I sure do like the beads, and it only costed a dollar at the dollar store. I've seen the potential in the beads. So I purchased that. I always look in the jewelry section of the dollar store to see what we can find. Got one in. These cathedral beads right here are gorgeous. Very pretty beads. So we have this so far. I'm kind of thinking a little bit more. Then we'll be done. That wants to go in.
It's almost in. I've got a little tail peeking through. How about some of these brown ones? Okay, let's make a hole. the star. Let me figure out which part should be up. Right there. Okay. What happened to the crocodile? There it is. A jump ring. The star is still wet, and I'm okay with that. Close it up. And tie it off. Now for the other one that I showed you at the beginning, for that one, I used my my feathers, and I've got some new feathers coming your way, a whole new design. You guys are gonna love, 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 love. And with that new design, I'm going to oh, I'm just gonna be excited to share with you guys. So let's tie that off, just for good measure I'm going to do two, and this moon is going into my daughter's room, let me cut that off, And then to hang it from, she'll figure that out, whatever she wants to use to hang there. But I'm going to sneak in some lace. She can hang it from lace. That'll be her option. Don't tell her. Let's just knot it in there. Just like that. She can hang it. I'll probably sew it right there for her. She could figure that out. But that one's hers. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are enjoying all the inspiration and all the sharing that I do here on YouTube. Actually, I know that a lot of you guys do because you leave me wonderful comments. This is um amazing. I love it. I love it a lot. I really, really like it. Give it a go. And I've got so many ideas. So many ideas for you guys. So, so many. Fall's coming and I think that fall has a lot to do with my creative thoughts. And thank you Callie Black for inspiring the shape of the moon. Thank you so much. And the printing on the CD. She also did that. And the star. Awesome. So if you don't know who she is, go over there check out her channel. She is my gypsy sister. Yep. I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to donate a dollar, 
buttons right there and I'm very grateful for that dollar. I wish I could say some change but uh, YouTube doesn't let us get anything less than a dollar. Alrighty because they gotta get their cut too. I think they take like 20, 20 cents off or some something like that. They don't let us have the whole dollar. Alright see you guys later and enjoy have fun, make some, be inspired. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. I totally forgot something. Well, I can do it and share with you guys. So, I don't know if this stuff is available. That's why I didn't share. Now I remember. It's foiling glue. I don't know if it's available still. Foiling glue. Apply glue, let dry two hours, then apply the foil mat side down. Okay. So you apply it, and that's what I did to the other one. I'm going to do it to this one. And I like using glops and letting it kind of like drip because when you put the foil, it actually looks like uh, soldering. And I like to solder. I love soldering. I haven't done a video on soldering yet. Um, and when I solder, I love the messy solder. I love the look of the messy solder. So, I will purposely do it messy here because I love that look. And you got to give this two hours to dry. So we'll are, I can't upload this video right away. Although even though you won't, you guys will, can't tell. Um, I will have to wait a good two hours, come back and then foil this. Now, the thinner you do it, the faster it dries. But I'm going kind of thick. I am skipping parts on purpose. And I'll come back and we'll foil it together. Let's foil together. Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? I'm going to let it dry. Then we'll come back and we'll foil together, guys. So I thought that was the end of my video. But then I remembered this. Okay, I'll see you in two hours. Alrighty, we're back and we're going to finish. Let's finish her up and call it done. So let's see, I want to use gold so it's all nice and dry. And we're going to use, I'm going to cut this so that I can use it, use it up nicely. If I can find good scissors, this one says fabric. This one says paper. So all this is uh, is uh, foil. And I have lots of spots that I've used and I'm going to try to use it all up. You just place it on top and give it a good push. And then take it off. It didn't grab much at all actually. Give me a second. For some reason it's not grabbing. Let's see if I can use a different piece. There we go. I guess the other piece... There we go. The other piece didn't have enough. Um, gold on it. One more second. I'm going to take this piece off. 
All right. Let me get you closer. I think I need to eat something because I'm a little shaky. Awesome. And um, I've got a surprise for you guys coming up. It's well worth the time that I spend in my craft room because winter's coming and I've been so inspired. And I love that. Uh, Callie inspired me with the moons. And that's Callie Black. And I just noticed right now that Rita Marie here on YouTube also did them. So head on over to her channel and go see her style. this. These make beautiful gifts. And I'm just going to pat around, make sure I got it all. And everybody Callie Black and Rita Marie have different twists to theirs, and we're all done here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. And we have our beading. If you want to see the video on how to make these, I have a video in the DIY. Oh, we still need the to do the star. we're done. Hope I've inspired you guys to create and play and give this a go and give it your own touch. And we're all done. Now we're done. And if I've inspired you and if you can share, share with your friends, share me on any social media you like. And if you're inspired and you're a YouTuber, uh, please mention me in your video if you decide to create these and mention Callie Black because I got the moon idea from her and uh, the stamping idea from her and the star and I'm so grateful to be good friends with Callie and Rita Marie now has done one head on over to their channel support them tell them I sent you if you haven't been there yet and I love you guys and if you like to fund this channel donate a dollar the little buttons right there Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.